Hello, amazing people. I hope you are having an amazing festive season. And even if you aren't, don't worry, this too will pass. Just allow tea time, entertain y'all with just for an hour. And I'm sure you enjoyed the music that we already had. I mean, mm -hmm. I was getting the studio already bumping in there. Uh, but best believe we will do a good job today, as we always do. So here is our show. Our show is called Tea Time with Plus TV Africa. This is an entertainment analysis show. This is your first time. And we do it better than no other. We, while we're sipping tea, we serve you with the hottest news about celebrities. We break it down. And basically give you all the gist and nitty gritties about everything pertaining to lifestyle as well. And when I say we, I'm referring to none other than the delectable team, the one who will aspire to inspire. Hmm. The ones who will serve you the gospels like it's nothing. Hello and welcome to Ifa Lodge Kayan. Hello. What's good? What's good? What's good? What's Hi. Good? What's How's aspire it going? Aspire to inspire though. Where do I come from again? <laughs> Y'all used to... <laughs> Y'all used to give some some teas, especially mm -hmm. you when you want to get into your feelings. I want to advise us mm -hmm. as the great old wise man that you yeah. are on this table. No, it's not an ad it's not me, you know, doing aspire to inspire. It's just that what an old man is it can see. Can you see the mm -hmm. see, see, I'm doing it about. again. Okay. Little kids on top of an Yoko tree. Mm -hmm. in so can you see guys? I'm not far <laughs> off. <laughs> anyway, how was the weekend? Amazing stuff, yeah. yeah. So I think I was able to pause on Saturday. Mm -hmm. After my pause, I had um, a long rest. And, but guys, uh, you know what I'm wearing black today? Well, I love one black. Thank you. I want to talk to you. Like, and we're mourning the gone king. Oh, oh. I'm sorry. Mm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. May you so rest in peace. Amen. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. I wouldn't, so. I don't know him, so it'll have been funny for me to wear black then. So I don't feel so bad. Okay. Sorry. Uh -huh. Sorry, I interrupted you. Mm -hmm. You were saying your weekend... Yeah, so, you know, after my pause, I've been able to sleep, you know, boosting my immune system, using mm -hmm. medications, making sure that, you know, I'm... That was wrong with you. Just preventing anything from happening. Uh -huh. The second wave okay. of COVID is no joke, so I want True. people to be well protected. Just know that, man, in, in the midst of all those festivities, COVID is still real. Mm. You should just try and protect yourself yeah. one way or the other. Yeah, and you? Yeah. Oh my! Oh, my weekend was crazy. I had family over, so I just pensed the entire weekend screaming, "Stop it! Sit down there!" <laughs> like, I didn't get any sleep yeah. till Sunday. But. Yeah, oh, I yeah. also didn't get any sleep, but it wasn't because I was babysitting care of children. No, I was lucky. Yeah, you. I was oh, out and about. Tell us, tell us. Um, I was out every night. I think since I Ooh. since Thursday. Thursday I went to W Bar, and then mm. I went to three fifty five. And then Friday, I don't remember. Saturday, Asha went out. Sunday, there was uh, the beach. Okay. Almost, there's a lot. I can't remember really <laughs> keep it. I just know that I'm, I haven't really slept well. So mm -hmm. I'm I'm hoping to, after work, to sleep for like a long time during mm -hmm. the day so that I can go again. Use your phone. Go okay. again at night. But anyway. Tonight? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but tonight's okay. one is very chill. It's just a house party. Well, like, kind of like a pool party, whatever. It'll be fun. Mm. Anyway, Nigerian celebrities have refused to go vegan as they just like to beef. Yes, I'm trying to be funny here. I'm sorry, but we just have to talk about it because it's uh, basically standing out. This weekend's beef has been standing out like the mm -hmm. camera that was mysteriously found at the crime scene by Sherlock Holmes. You know what I mean? You're on fire today. But anyway, <laughs> let's start off with Etinosa mm -hmm. and Victoria Inyama. Mm -hmm. The veteran film star Victoria Inyama congratulated actress Tinosa on the arrival of her child, but in addition, sprinkling a little bit of salt in there, mocking her um, to the single mom's chat group. So, Madam Good has, and I quote now, this is not me saying it, guys. So, Madam Good has a child. Congratulations. I am nonetheless alive and nicely to see this, question mark. So, you have got additional, you have got additionally joined our, I think she's very terrible. Um, but that's what happens when you're angry and you're texting too much. Mm -hmm. Anyway, you've joined our, our single mother's group chat, question mark, question mark, question mark, laughing my ass out. You mocked me with demise. However, I will not do similar to you, she wrote, which is weird because mm -hmm. right after that, she did the exact Thank same you. thing. She said she wasn't going to do. However, <laughs> I, de I dedicate that cash out link on Anzantland track to you. Hopefully, motherhood will carry some pleasure into your life so you would already know what life dishes completely different meals. Hopefully, you would cease projecting your despairs onto others. However, most significantly, fill your child with love and needs others nicely. I don't know how English is really terrible. Mm -hmm. Seizing wishing demise to an individual older than you. I mean, I, wa I wanted to paraphrase for her, but I didn't want to speak for her. So mm -hmm. I had just to her the read the background, it. the mm -hmm. way she put it. But I think we can all tell that the congratulations is not 
a positive one mm -hmm, um, and sure. the way jabs that were being thrown at, at her and well at each other she's okay. responded as well this is Etino now the actress the pregnant lady if you don't know who these people are because to be honest they're not that anyway um, so if you don't know who she is she's also replied to say she never insulted any single mother denying the claims and that the old lady should go take a seat and all of that and all of that and that one's also responded with more receipts saying this is what you did that time and this is what you did that time but should I go first, or does anyone want to start this? I feel um, Etinosa and Victoria's beef has been going on for a long time. It's yes. quite exhausting. Mm. Like, they argue about things that, to, in my own opinion, doesn't make sense. Mm. Remember when they were fighting over Bob Risky? Mm. Like, he said this about Bob Risky. Next thing, you had, um, Victoria called Etinosa out for talking about the Bible, one Bible passage she didn't quote mm. properly. I feel like they just need to see this thing out. Because according to... Um, Victoria, she's older than it, you know, sir. She mm. should ask um, to me, I'm sorry, to, with maturity mm. and stop any small thing, stop um, insulting it, you know, yeah. stop feeding into the beef. Yeah. Ask like the matured one, be the um, be the better person or older person in this yeah. scenario. And you say you don't want to tease her, well, you just did it at the end of the day. Don't yeah. bring the baby into those issues with me. Yeah, I think to me that was a mm -hmm. bit extreme. True. It's kind of weird because with the Tino Sa girl, mm -hmm. I'm not, she cannot. If she's acting brand new or feeling okay. victimized, that would be really funny because you built your house on a glass of insult. Mm -hmm. So, of course, you're going to get that kind of feedback. Do you know what I mean? Like, mm -hmm. she's the one that would, wouldn't hesitate to say anything about whoever and be loud mouth about it and mm -hmm. smoke with the Bible. Even me that I don't really, I'm not like the most religious person. I, at least I'm not tone deaf that mm -hmm. you have to respect other people's beliefs and all of that. Mm -hmm. So... Um, she does have her issues, but I think when you start to bring in a baby right. and then you're like, I don't know. My problem with Yama is how she's doing it. I wish somebody else actually tried to school this girl, Etienne because she does deserve some, like, I know, I some, know. some mm -hmm. you know, training or whatever on social media, at least. Yeah. But I wish it was somebody else because to me, this person, Victoria, is acting the same to me, in my opinion. She's mm -hmm. acting the same as Etienne Like, you're, you're, you're screaming that she's something that you are, in, in my opinion. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of like a, a cash 22 situation. Like you're bullying somebody because they are bullying. Like it makes no sense, but whatever. I can really cannot be bothered that much okay. about them. Mm -hmm. So for me, I see both of them like um, beds of the same feathers. Mm -hmm. yes, Funny thing is, um, you're trying to say I'm bad. She's trying to say you're bad. And at the same time, you're both trying bad. to be the both bad person. Mm. <laughs> you get like, mm -hmm. you're both trying to be the good ones and you're both acting like the bad ones. So we can all see beyond the smoke screen of your beef. Do you mm. get like, um, you, you're trying to make this person look like she's the one who started it. You, trying, you get like the whole blame game is really, really um, unnecessary as far as I'm concerned. And I think, man, like you said, they should sort it out. Matter of fact, it's one of those beef that I'm not even interested in. I can't mm -hmm. even be bothered. Like, if they tell me they beat the I can see you like, club, yeah, I, go again. Like, I just think that it drew a lot of attention, <clears throat> obviously, because um, at, at the end of the day, though I'm not a big fan, I'm not a fan of any of them. I, to be honest, I'm not, I don't even think I've seen any of their no, work. It's not so exactly good. I'm ever. Like, mm -hmm. I just know it's just on social media, but that's mm -hmm. a sign that I don't watch. It's not so it's what? Enough. She's good. I love her movies. I'm not. I'm, I'm, not, to I'm not. Why not? No, I'm just so asking. I didn't hear what you said. Okay, okay. She just said it passionately to me. <laughs> 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 uh, I think you're trying to challenge me, so I'll be right. I'm ready. How would I challenge something I don't know about? Okay. Yeah. But anyway, I've never seen any of their work, so. Neither. I just know that they, this brought a lot of crowd on social media. Mm -hmm. There was a lot of conversations that had stemmed from that, especially with the whole thing of bashing single parents and 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 Yama trying to almost bash her for also being a single parent. Mm -hmm. Like it's kind of mm -hmm. twisted. You claim that somebody doesn't have a right to mock you about something because it's not supposed to be mocked, but then you mock her for Same for joining mm -hmm. your team. So that means you think that being a single mother is also that. To be, to be honest with you, it's just because the team is not the doesn't have the cleanest hand but if i was going to really come hard on anybody it would be grandma here that like come on the lady's pregnant like mm -hmm. if you're going to pick up a fight pick up a fight but don't do it because she put a baby up on mm -hmm. instagram and you are tacit because the girl doesn't agree with everything that you say are you 12 like anyway please go on to another hot hmm. and sizzling beef because i'm getting bored of that topic mm -hmm. and that's between our faves i should speak for myself and say my faves Okay. And that is, um, anyway, so let's just get into it. Uh, that is Nigerian superstar singer David Doe and Burner Boy. Yes, they reportedly had a brawl in Ghana. 
just imagine transporting your dirty laundry to another mm. country that we're always doing bad sports <laughs> with. I mean, they're making us look bad, guys. Anyway, according to reports, I've not seen with my two eyes, making the rounds on social media, both singers and performers, to um, in the neighboring country and due to prevailing bad blood between them a fight mm -hmm. ensued a viral clip on twitter has seemingly backed up these reports as it captured the moment an agitated man who looked like davido <laughs> shoved and pushed another man who looked like burner boy because mm -hmm. i like to believe that these two people are too grown for all of this <laughs> so it couldn't have been there maybe they just happened to have the same hairstyle mm -hmm, shape of and look the same same shape of head mm -hmm. and wore the same necklace like yeah who knows? Because mm. that's too wild. True. I'm obviously a big fan of David Doe. I mean, he won my heart completely on social um, I, um, um, this year, rather. And I even okay. went to social media to baptize myself and come out as a new David Doe stan. But mm -hmm. violence for me is a no-no, whoever that you are. Um, I don't know what happened before and after that video that mm. I saw. But the video that I saw was... Davido pushing Burner Boy from the back. Like, mm -hmm. hey, listen, already um, at, ag agitated. Mm -hmm. And when I was researching a law, I wanted to stay far away from Nigerian reports because I just believe that every Nigerian would be reporting from a stand, a mm -hmm. fan perspective, either from a Davido perspective, really bashing sure. Burner Boy, mm -hmm. or from a Burner Boy perspective, really bashing, bashing. Davido. Mm -hmm. So I wanted to read what the Ghanaians had to say. And I know they'll bash both of them easily because mm -hmm. they don't like Nigerians anyway. Sure. So from what I was getting, the sense I was, I was getting, Davido was there first, mm -hmm. chilling and all of that. Then Burner Boy came in with the face like he came to make trouble. This is what I saw. And with the face that he came to make trouble and all of that, and then Davido got like... Which is a bit sad because you already know somebody's trying to. I hate when that happens. Like, you know what is going to get to me. It's kind of like almost like you have my control button. Like, that's more reason why I wouldn't even want to lose guard because I know that's what you're trying to get from me. But anyway, it worked. And then this guy is also agitated and now wants to get into a fight. Or oh, he did get into a fight and, and they both actually punched each other. And I didn't mm -hmm. see that. But that's according to media reports. Either ways, I think it's a bit immature. You're not children. Both of you are they dads? Is Bernard Boy a dad mm. no. that we know no. of? No, um, but at least, um, Davido is a fool like Abraham, he has mm -hmm. many children, so you know, like, I feel like it's some of, one of those things that you, you should be past this by now. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to say that I know what these people are going on about, but I'm going to speak from the social media perspective, which I have confidence on because I read it, I saw it, I don't know now any other thing behind it, but I want to say to burn a boy who mm -hmm. made it everybody's business when he started trolling him confidently on social media you need to chill out true like you need to chill out and i think david also needs to understand that maybe his heart is too big and he cares too much or whatever but he needs to get on whiskey's vibe and just <laughs> don't care don't care because mm -hmm. but it was a shock to me to see whiskey also in this circle mm -hmm. <laughs> drinking whiskey on his own i'm like <laughs> what in the world is space. going on here because that's how you should be that's the kind of person i'd like to believe david Do should be as well just mm -hmm. mind your business sure. when you now get home and you're not with the social media crew then you angular. bash the bash you want to bash okay before i say this i know i'm going to upset a lot of um david o fans but let me just clear it i am david o's fc but i just have to state the truth when i say it i feel um david o should have better control over his emotions like mm. any small to me i feel like anytime he's upset he just takes it out without actually thinking that okay what's going on how can i handle it better to in my opinion because mm. do you remember this um, matter that occurred in the club when they bounced him and his friends out. Yeah. That's how he reacted to, like, just uh, you're uh, a celebrity, you're a public figure. Learn how to control your emotions. At the back, or you can call Bonabo, like, guy, or what you did, even though you're upset. There are better ways to undo this thing. Don't, don't stop acting, like what you said, stop acting immature. Mm. You're a father, for crying out loud. Learn how to control. Is this what you want to see your child see? Like, see how my daddy is fighting? I just feel it should be uh, he's a very wonderful person we yeah. all know that he's humble his humility is out of this world but he's just learning how to handle his emotions better yeah. that's, that's my own problem catch me outside <laughs> how about that yeah <laughs> first things first man big shout out to wheezy, wheezy. yeah 
Shout out to him. I really don't want to talk about the fights because there were two grown men that went to Ghana to go and um, you know display what it is. And um, I think some of those things is like they just know that there's gonna be a fight, and then the cameras are just ready to pull out. But they didn't put this one out on time. Like I really wanted to see what happened because mm -hmm. the, the people are beginning to compare them to David and Goliath. Mm -hmm. You know, one is a giant, one is called. So it's been a funny scenario, and I've been following this. And I, I just like the way we skid, you know, and do they. And then you could also we see that. handled it. Handled what? Andrew he didn't deal. mind it, his business. Yes. He didn't handle anything. He's not a part of the, the gist now. He's just a stand, standing me, guy at the, at the back. Someone wants to jump in and say, like, ah, no, okay, guys, stop mind. fighting, mm -hmm. guys, stop. And then I they will now drag him into the whole thing. Are you kidding or you me? Get, you get punched as well. Really? I don't what? think so. You don't think someone else would have done that? No, I don't. I, I mean, not in this particular context. I think if they were... F okay, go on, go on, go on. It's fine. No, go on. I want to get your take. I don't... I think if it was a different triangle, okay. mm. maybe they were... The person that... Let's say Whiskey was friends with both of them. It would be easy for me to want to get involved. Do you mm, get what I mean? Yeah. But it's really clear what this but is. We're not going to... both of them one, David yeah, Are we going to have this conversation or not? Yeah. Because let's not do we want to start. Anyways, um, I don't know. I don't know. David Doe and Bonner Boy, they need to work out their differences. It's mm -hmm. beginning to be shameful. Yeah, it's getting yeah, out because, of hand. Because, yeah, you know, taking it to Ghana, it's okay to even say violence we don't condone. But in Nigeria, you know, and these guys know where to find each other. Must we always do these things in the club? And mm -hmm. Knowing that, why are you guys always fighting when your security details are all around? Mm -hmm. Do you understand? Like, why do they never... Is there a time fight? where their security mm -hmm. detail is not around? Yeah, yeah. There are yeah. times. Yeah. That's why I said they know where to find each other. Do you understand? Like, if you really want to fight, if a Bonner boy really wants to fight a David Doe, he knows where to go to. Oh, if a David okay. Doe really wants to fight a Bonner boy... I don't boy, think they know. really want to fight each other. I don't so why did so. the Bonner boy come in with a face looking like he wants to fight? When they know what they're first. Maybe they had... They've told the each other it's on site. Okay. They've told each other from the start. It's on site. When I see you, it's on site. Uh -huh. So that's so, different from I'm coming, coming to your house. Like, who fights who fight like that anyway? Like say, how? In general. Like, I'm going to come to any last house in particular. It's don't catch me outside. If I see you, I see I you. Because that one is too, like... <laughs> You, you must be in my you must be Wait. stealing my speed my sleep for me to want to come to your house all of a sudden to I come and fight said go to his house i said if they want to fight each other they know what i'm saying if nobody other. wants to fight that much i'll go and ask for the house address and then go to the guy's house address it's usually on site now <laughs> Is it not? Yeah. But what really, it wait, what really upset me? Did you read the comments under the <laughs> video when, when um, Ghanaians were naturally like, please go back to your country and everything like that? That really upset me. Like, why see, should, the why ones should that it upset, it now? upset you? Your stars, your, your that, FCs. That's it. Like, they don't they embarrass us as Nigerians. It's no news that um, Nigeria and Ghana, we have beef. You just mm. made, this, made them talk the more. I think, I think we should stop the narrative of Nigeria and Ghana having beef because I don't think there's any beef between us. This is not the serious, word, but we, okay, are, com we yeah, are definitely in competition. Mm -hmm. Like, with the, the Ghana, your love. I don't know. Yeah. You're talking about something serious. I feel like competing with Ghana. Oh, wow. Okay. I, I mean, I think we. Be, it's. It's. I mean, it's. It's not rocket science. We both are in West Africa. We're one of the mm -hmm. few countries in West Africa that speaks English, and we have. we in this. I don't want to say we're in the no same. Man. We're in the same caliber. I think you'll be. So you'll, you be call it? you'll be lying to yourself. You think there's okay. no caliber because mm -hmm. I personally I would say that Stone Boy is a heavyweight. Um, Shatawali is a heavyweight. Uh, Sakodi is a heavyweight. Mm -hmm. Ghana has and Ghana has a standard and of living three, the, the in comparison to other West African countries mm -hmm. that would make Nigeria. The three of them one hide their face so the let's not act like compared to like our biggest stars in nigeria can they be compared to our top three biggest stars in i think nigeria? i think you'll be downplaying them if you mm -hmm. said that they can't and even yes. shatter while you can boom the wow. boom play whatever that he got just because he's not big in nigeria doesn't mean that he's, he's not, not big, big let's country. not do that mm -hmm. but anyway mm. back to Brenner boy <laughs> Yeah, and back to Bonner Boy. Like I was and saying, if these two yeah. want to fight each other, they definitely and clearly know how to find each other. And the people that are listening probably understand it better than you because okay. yeah, they probably know what I mean when I say they know how to find each other because they are brothers anyways. Do you understand? So, well, according to this video, I don't think they're brothers anymore. You still don't get it, but I'm sure some people get it. <laughs> you get I don't it. want to understand violence. I don't <laughs> exactly. know how you used to fight and what the code is. I don't care. Okay. I I, I, in fact, I want to even unlearn it if I ever get to understand it. My own is, 
quit this rubbish. You are but shout out to much bigger than that. Again, man. It just shows. You already did. Yeah. Know. It just shows that. Please, look. please, don't, don't <laughs> jab out, Ife, because I was waiting for you, even, this even, one. Even okay. in, when it comes to music, you know, you can see this level of maturity you get when it, the music. This is the guy that was just screaming how many days ago, some, calling somebody a gay person, acting very homophobic. So don't, don't trip, Ife. He Whiskey is not. Too. Yes, he has his moments where he throws people. Uh, Are you talking about a couple the of tiny? yes. Uh, Abi, that that one is acceptable. It was good was behavior. Was, uh, uh -huh, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. That's well, not what even that's not even what I mean. But if you want to bring if, that uh, up, they, they, um, Whiskey is not the. It's not an innocent person here. This is just not his beef, and he mm -hmm. stayed in his lane. I mean, we'll give him kudos for that, man, but we don't need God to blow us. a trumpet about that. May God give us that. May God give us that type of energy in 2021, where we can all be only looking and sipping our sip. As it should be, know? oh please. If yes. it's not your yes. business, if it's like, not your beef, on. please don't. Uh -huh. Anything that is not my beef, I want to get away from it. Fam, like. May I just focus on my own focus because that wasn't whiskey's focus in at any at all. Game. And I would like that we even get to a point where, even when it is your beef. You still take the high route and just chill out. Just imagine how sweet it would have been if one of the two, maybe Burner Boy was, David was the one shouting like a, like a lost chicken and Burner Boy was chill or something. Like, do you understand know what I mean? Mm. Like, let some, one of them actually display a level of maturity. It can't be every time you go low, you also follow the other person to go low. But anyway, we're well, still in the spirit of beefs, um, but this one is a healthy one. And I don't know, maybe David and Burner Boy can actually take a cue from this actually and let them film out through what they both actually really good at which is okay. music as um 50, 50 cent has basically That'd be a knockout <laughs> could a student anyway. versus teacher matchup be on the cards because mm -hmm. 50 cents has proposed the idea of a potential versus matchup between drake and lil wayne mm -hmm. which obviously we know how that started lil wayne basically schooled or brought up uh drake and during a promotional run for his um, Branson Connock, um, the G Unit rapper oh, yeah. took part in a live Instagram interview in Texas. And he was asked who would be a good comp opponent that um, could go against both um, Drake and Wayne and if they would take part in the series. Explaining what he thinks, he said the best opponents would be actually be each other. And I quote, he said, I think of because of the momentum, the best thing would be Lil Wayne and Drake um, versing against each other because it's two styles, two different styles in the same period. Mm -hmm. So it will be entertaining enough to both watch, um, to watch both of them, okay. really. Even reading this thing now, I think we already know who is going to win between um, Drake and Lil Wayne. Yeah. Who do you think, please? I'm not sure. Lil Wayne. Trust me, to me, to me. Wait, wait, don't attack me. Wait, even um the songs the girl, <laughs> you shock me. I'm serious. Like um, Lil Wayne is like a legend to me, and Drake fine, he has been good. The music he produced this 2020 were mad, were 2020. amazing. 2020 were mad. So, but to me, I feel like Drake is still learning when it comes to Lil Wayne. Let's be honest, girl. Let's be honest. Let's be honest right now. Even their song um uh. um the mood or something. Well, yeah, you know the song, um, The Mood, Wayne, Lil Wayne and um, Drake. You read it. And this F-W-R-Y, I can't say it on live TV, but you know the song I'm talking about. F-W-R-Y, okay. Yeah. Even when you listen to that song, you know, okay, Lil Wayne is schooling Drake in the song. To me. As a rapper? Yes. Okay, okay. Uh -uh. Okay. It's not insulted to say, uh-uh. Mm, okay, Jesus because, please. I mean, when I read what 50 Cent was talking about here, mm -hmm. he... The fact that he pointed out two different styles, mm -hmm. um, I didn't think about them as both as rappers competing against each other. I, I thought about them as two different artists, mm -hmm. comp as in who's who's reigning more on each other's genre or style, if okay. that makes sense. And I think um, Drake will to you. outrun. I can't with them, Lil Wayne when by a mile. That's when you know the verses is about playing their each track. Well, because well. exactly like I just said, mm -hmm. Fifty Cent was the one who started that. Mm -hmm. And before even what you said about um, um, somebody being better than the other person, I was going to start, start off my opinion by saying it makes no sense even to have a versus with people in different styles, which is what this guy is talking about and saying mm -hmm. that that will be entertaining. He mentioned again, except you want me to read that no, part again. again. He did say. That it will be entertaining because there are two different people with two different mm -hmm. styles, and it will be entertaining mm -hmm. enough. Mm -hmm. So it's not me that said it. I'm not Fifty the one cents. that's <laughs> comparing them. Fifty Cent is the one that said it will be it will be nice because there are two different people. Mm -hmm. So it's not that they're going to be rappers 
um, two rappers rapping because I don't, mm -hmm. I wouldn't really, I don't, I won't really call. Versus has never been two rappers rapping. It's about you playing twenty of your songs, twenty of yeah. your songs back to back. Okay, well in that case, like I said, I still think Drake would still be better. I still think Drake would be able to outrun <laughs> Lil Wayne too quickly because not because he is quote unquote better. To be honest, they're not my. I'm, I'm not going to say that I'm a a deep listener of okay. both of them, but I just know who has more bangers, who's been in the game longer. Not who gave, one came in the game first, who changed the okay. game, who gave the nicest whatevers, but I think one will so run the other think, one. So they drop 20, 20 songs, who do you think would win? I'm saying again, Drake. Drake, okay. Yeah. Okay. Amelia, Amelia, Amelia is very annoying to me. A lot of his songs are a bit like... Mm. We're, we're really sorry on the behalf of Lil Wayne. We're so, so sorry. Mm -hmm. uh, why? You agree? What? Why is why where are you apologizing I'm for? I'm apologizing to Lil Wayne for insulting him. For okay. Yes. We're sorry. We're sorry, Mr. Wayne. Um yeah. Who's <laughs> we? Who are you apologizing <laughs> for? Are you supporting me? Hey, like I'm like I was saying, um Big shout out to um, 50 Cent because I didn't even see this type of verses coming. Like, I would have told of the both of them, like, Peach and Lil Wayne. Why not? And Drake against. I don't know. It's just, it's just in, you get, you want, probably want to see a Snoop Dogg and a Dr. Dre. You probably want to see a YG and, a, a, you know, there's so many other people you can pitch against each other. But this will be a classic. Like, I would really mm -hmm. like to see, see a Lil Wayne and a Drake. And I hope that you follow through with this one. But if you're asking me who's, who has more, bangers man can never take it away from Lil Wayne matter of fact <laughs> Lil Wayne Lil Wayne Lil Wayne, Wayne we're probably I'm sure if Drake has to drop some of his verses he probably has like 10 of the songs with Lil Wayne on them mm -hmm. if we are talking about way back mm -hmm. <laughs> did you get what I'm saying exactly if we're talking about way back but okay yeah, if we're talking about way back, then that's what Versus is about. Like, it's about way your, back. Why not? Why, old, why can't we bring your old song in the last five years? Yeah. No, no, why we're, not? we're going back to old song. Okay, if you go okay. to old song, we'll not, we'll not land in the, in the current the one. Old, the oldest to the newest. And that's, he has no newest. Is. So, Ooh, Lil Wayne? Yeah. What do you mean? Uh -huh. You don't know. Don't oh say okay, it. Please educate oh. me. That his, the, the song that he dropped, give me this year, that was nice. That was a banger that we made it anywhere. Tell no, us I'm now. Not, I'm not even going to try to if tell I you. If I educate me, you can't no. be so arrogant with your knowledge now. If you claim you I'm, know something, I'm, share it. In this case, I want to be super. All right, <laughs> then. Oh, I will not lose sleep over anything that Whiskey, um, Lil Wayne has to offer me. But let's go on a quick break. Enjoy yourselves, guys. We'll be right back.